Plasma. The fourth state of matter which knowing about as a child will make you feel like the smartest elementary schooler in the world. It's the stuff of stars and lightning, and as elusive as that makes it sound, it's actually the most common state of matter, accounting for about 99% of the visible universe. Plasma is superheated matter, typically in the form of an ionized gas. It is so hot, in fact, that when it is formed, electrons are literally ripped away from it in the process known as ionization. So in order to make plasma, we must give said matter enough energy for it to reach that ionized state. On a large scale, this is done through things like nuclear fusion. On a smaller scale, things like running a high voltage current through air will normally do the trick. Plasma also comes in various colors, typically dependent on how hot the plasma is. We often observe this in stars in our universe. However, the color can also be dependent on the chemical properties of the ionized matter. Now, in order to demonstrate this concept, I am first going to build a high voltage circuit so that I can make some plasma. So I've got two batteries wired in parallel to double the amp hours to a safe level for the transformer. The batteries supply power to the ZVS driver here. This is an oscillator. That means it turns a normal DC circuit into a signal current. It will basically give the transformer a usable signal to turn into a high voltage signal. The high voltage between the electrodes will cause the air to be ionized, closing the circuit and allowing electricity to flow through. Alright, so that was pretty cool. However, I want to change a plasma's color based on its chemical properties. Therefore, I am going to utilize sodium in an attempt to make the plasma yellow. To do this, I am going to make a saltwater electrode. Saltwater is a highly conductive substance, so it should work out just fine. Alright, saltwater electrode setup, screwdriver for safety, and be sure to always follow the one hand rule whenever dealing with high voltages. Okay, we now appear to have a nice yellow colored plasma going. So what's happening here? Well, when it comes to metal ions, giving them enough energy will get their electrons into an excited state. When those electrons are unexcited, they will release that energy in the form of light. This wavelength of light is unique among different elements, therefore giving us different colors. Okay, but let's try one more color. So I actually have no idea if this will work. But what I'm going to do is try green by using boric acid. Boric acid on its own is not that conductive, but since salt water is, what we're going to do is create an aqueous solution of both boric acid and salt water. And since green wavelengths of light tend to be far more prominent, I'm going to hope we can achieve a nice emerald green plasma. Okay, so that quote unquote aqueous solution ended up being more of a pile of boric acid on top of salt water since I wasn't getting that green color, but we managed to get a nice beautiful green plasma working.
All right, so that's gonna be all for today's video. This one was a little shorter because I'm working on something pretty big for the next coming weeks. Therefore, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more.